Can I move my old computer's hard drive to my new computer to transfer data? My recommended approach. So this is not an uncommon scenario at all. You've got a new computer, you've got a bunch of data on it, and you'd like to get that data onto your new machine. Uh, it's actually, there are several approaches that you could use, and actually connecting up the old hard drive to the new computer is in fact one very viable approach. I have a recommendation about how specifically to go about doing that. Can I move my old computer's hard drive to my new computer to transfer data? My recommended approach. You can take the internal hard disk of an old computer and install it as an additional drive in a new one or consider a more flexible alternative. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is AskLeo.com. A quick thank you to the patrons of Ask Leo for making this video, this podcast, heck, the entire site possible. AskLeo.com slash patron for more information about how you can help and the benefits of doing so. Question. My sister has a computer with Windows. However, it's crashing on her. She got a new computer with the latest Windows. My question is, can she install her old hard drive into her new PC so she can transfer her files over to her new hard drive? She is very illiterate when it comes to computers. A working hard disk formatted for use by any prior version of Windows can certainly be read by versions of Windows that come later. Of course, you'll have to open the box, extract the drive, and do something with it. Can I move my old computer's hard drive to my new computer? You can almost certainly remove the hard drive from an older machine and attach it to a newer machine. You may be able to install it internally if the interfaces are compatible, and most are. You might instead consider placing it into an external drive enclosure to make it an external USB drive. You will not be able to transfer installed applications or Windows itself. Installing the drive in another machine. This is a fairly common approach used by computer geeks. We'll take a hard drive from an old computer and install it as the second drive in a new one. What used to appear as the C drive on the old computer might now appear as the D drive on the new one. Once it's set up, copying files from old to new is easy and fast. This approach comes with a bonus. Once you're done copying the files you want to keep, you can leave the old hard drive in the new machine, reformat it, and use the extra disk space for whatever you like. The downside is you'll need to be somewhat computer hardware literate to install the drive. It does mean opening up your PC and connecting the old drive in the right way in the right place. There's no one way to do it. It varies based on the type of computer and the disk you have. A more flexible approach, the external drive. A more flexible approach I prefer is to take the drive out of the old computer and install it into an external USB drive enclosure. That's essentially what external USB drives are. Hard drives in an enclosure providing power in a circuit board to provide the USB to hard drive interface. There are two things you need to know before purchasing an external USB enclosure. The drive size. By size, in this case, I mean the physical size of the drive. The external enclosure you select needs to match the physical size of the old drive you're about to put in it. The interface. There are two primary disk interfaces these days, SATA on the left above and IDE on the right. Almost all drives on newer machines are SATA, and even when they're not, newer machines include a SATA interfaces. Particularly on very old machines, you may run into IDE. The external drive enclosure you get must match the drive you have. Once you've installed the drive in the appropriate type of enclosure, a screwdriver is really the only tool you'll need, all you do then is connect it via USB to any computer, and perhaps to power, and you'll be able to access the data on it. What you can't do. I want to caution you about transferring software. You can't. Any program that required running a setup program to be installed on the old machine will need that setup program run again to install it on the new machine. This is not something typically available on the hard disk you just moved. You'll need to get or download the latest setup for the software you want. Similarly, this doesn't work for Windows at all. 
Windows is itself configured for the specific hardware it's used on. Your old machine's configuration is different than your new machines. Even if you could just copy it over somehow, its configuration would be unlikely to work properly. Much like an application, Windows must be set up properly for the machine it will run on. Some skills required. Regardless of whether you install the hard disk in a different computer or into an external enclosure, you will need to be comfortable opening up the old computer to disconnect and remove the drive. Then, depending on your choice, you'll need to reinstall the drive in its new home. If that sounds like too much, perhaps it's time to find a technician or at least a techie friend. It's usually a fairly quick and easy operation for someone who knows what they're doing. If you found this article helpful and you'd like more tips like this, you'll love Confident Computing. My weekly email newsletter is full of articles that help you solve problems, stay safe, and increase your confidence with technology. Subscribe now, and I'll see you there. For links related to this article, or to leave a comment, visit askleo.com 2424. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.